is written and directed by Isaac Hirotsu Wafter. This is his feature film debut, a relentless drama about abuse, trauma and gathering the strength necessary to push through. Bella is an introvert young woman living with her sick mother and overprotective drug-dealing stepfather. After fleeing to New York and successfully reinventing herself, Bella realizes she must confront her dark past to be truly free. The first five minutes set the tone for the entire film. Gritty visuals, shaky cam shots, intense performances. So right off the bat you realize that this is going to be a totally raw story. I loved the way New York City becomes more than just a pretty background. None of the scenes take place in the usual city landmarks. But still, there is absolutely no doubt that's New York you see on screen. And it definitely becomes just another character. There are not that much dialogues. Especially during the first half of the movie. There's a big chunk of the story that is told through actions. So it becomes one of those cases in which the imagery guides us through. There doesn't seem to be a clear conflict. Is this going to be a story about Bella running away from home? About her abusive stepfather? Her dying mother? All of that combined? It takes a considerable amount of time for the storytelling to find its way. Bryant Carroll as Gordy was hands down my favorite character. Always on edge. Always about to lose control. I kind of like his dark vulnerability. Now, on the other hand, Bella's character sort of exasperated me. It became a little bit too much to handle from time to time. Bound holds no punches when it comes to lay out a compelling drama about broken down characters, the challenges they are forced to deal with, and how the way they choose to face them will become critical to their survival. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. Bound is currently making the festival rounds. So if you happen to see it, please feel free to return to this review and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel. So if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.